I had a lot of good feedback on the transition lens reveal I did more than a year ago. Thank you all who com commented and engaged with the video. I really appreciate it. Keep the comments and the engagement going. The comment sections were rather polarized with people swearing by their transition lenses and loving it and others who really hate their transition lenses and wanted to go back to the optical and yell at the manager and demand a refund for it. I'm a big fan of this type of lens and I personally would not wear a pair of glasses without them, let alone leave the house without a pair of transition lenses. So I was a bit surprised with the negative comments I received about them. Whether it's positive or negative comments on the lenses, I appreciate the engagement as I said before, so please keep it going. For this video, I want to revisit that transition video and go over three common reasons people commented on the video, why they hate the transition lenses and try to address them one by one. So let's get started. Let's talk about the reason why people hate their transition lenses. The main reason that they hate it, hate it is that they don't get dark enough in the sun. This is a common complaint I get from my customers when I try to introduce them to transition lenses um, after they had it before. They mention that they are outside and the transition lenses do not get dark enough and they do not feel that they get their money's worth by upgrading their lenses. There are two main reasons why this is the case. The first reason is that the transition lens is just plain old. Just like how your iPhone 7 doesn't charge properly or run out of power after a few hours, transition lenses do experience wear and tear over the years and loses its efficiency to change colors over time. Also, transitions is now in its eighth generation, so it's been constantly improving its technology over the years. Few people know about this. You may be stuck with an older generation transition and saying that it doesn't work while your optician is trying to talk to you and convince you to get an 8th generation one. So you're not comparing apples to apples to comparing apples to oranges. It's very similar to complain to your iPhone 5 camera to an Apple salesman who's trying to sell you the 13. Technology simply just gets better. Another reason why your transition lenses do not get dark enough is that it's not directly exposed to UV light. It doesn't turn completely dark when you're outside. I have multiple customers come back to me right after they got their transition lenses and ask me, oh, why isn't my sunglasses or my glasses ch changing colors? And I have to mention to them that I have to step into direct sunlight to see this change completely. It was an overcast day or they were walking below a large building uh, that cast a large shadow over them. Being in the shade or inside a car will make your lenses change only partially and give you a slight tint. As you can see here, this is how dark a transition lens gets. If it doesn't get this dark um, in the direct sunlight, either you were given an old generation of transition lenses or a different brand of photochromatic lenses that the optician said it was transition. The second reason why people hate their transition lenses is that it doesn't turn back clear indoors fast enough. Again, this is very similar to the first problem, is that your transition lens is either old or not the most current generation of transition lenses. I've timed how long it takes to go from 100% dark to 100% clear and it clocks in in about a minute and 30 seconds. Not very long. The first two reasons that discussed why people do not like their transition lenses stem mainly from the fact that transition has become synonymous with photochromatic or photosensitive lenses. Companies can give transition lenses and not actually give you the specific transition 8th generation lens that Essilor makes that changes the colors the fastest and the darkest. There are many different types of photochromatic lenses each one slightly different than one another. Optical salespeople tend to just use the word transition to encompass all photochromatic lenses. And just like all different types of lenses, different manufacturers make their photochromatic uh, lenses slightly different than others. And the time it takes to get dark to light and light to dark will vary. So next time, when you get your transition lenses, ask the sales associate which specific brand 
and generation of photochromatic lenses you are actually getting. This could avoid some confusion and disappointment you may have with your transition lenses. But don't get me wrong though, some photochromatic lenses like Hoya Sensity lenses changes colors even faster and even better than SLR's transition lenses. The third reason why people hate their transition lenses is that it's too expensive. Yes, transition lenses sound expensive. They range between $100 to $200 on top of what you're already spending on your lenses and frames and coating. So it averages around $150 in addition. But think about it this way. A pair of legitimate sunglasses that protects you from, protects you from UV light costs around that much as well. I'm not talking about the cheap ones you get at the souvenir store or at the beachfront store or at Canal Street. I'm talking about the ones that protect you 100% of UV light. Also, the chances of you losing a sunglass is much less likely if it's part of your glasses as well. For me, I've lost a ton of these sunglasses, uh, taking them on and off, misplacing them, leaving them in, front, in, in friends' cars, etc. Maybe you're not as careless as me, but this is a, something that I hear a lot from my customers. Finally, transition lenses are generally subsidized by your vision insurance. Typically, a $100 to $200 transition lens upgrade may cost only $60 to $75 with vision insurance, such as VSP, iMed, or Davis Vision. So next time you're at an optical store, remember to ask your eyewear consultant if your vision insurance covers it. Sometimes they mention it to you, sometimes you have to let them know. Given that UV light is the major cause of blindness, it's a no-brainer to get a convenient solution to protect your eyes from that UV light. So there you go. These are the three main reasons people complain about their transition lenses. So just make sure you're getting the latest version of the transition lenses step directly in the sunlight to show its effectiveness and ask your IRA consultant if your insurance covers a portion of the transition cost. What do you think now? Do you still hate your transition lenses after this video? Comment below and let me know. For the latest lens tips and reviews on the latest eyewear, subscribe below and press that like button. Thanks and I'll see you next time.